Hey guys, Tiffany with another video and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be another video in my top 5 series. Now just in case you guys are unfamiliar with what exactly this whole top 5 series is, I will leave a link right here to the playlist and you guys can definitely go back, check out some of the other videos in this series, see what it's all about. But it's basically just my top 5 in different categories, different brands, all that other good stuff. So again, if you've been missing out, just definitely go ahead and click through the series and I'm pretty sure you'll find something that interests you. But I'm really excited about this particular video. One, because it's a collaboration and I'm collabing with my boo here on YouTube. She goes by Naturally Curly Q. I'm pretty sure at some point you guys have run across her channel, but in case you have not, you don't know what you've been missing out on. She does so many great videos. She does haul videos. She does hair tutorials. She does product reviews. She does these really great dupe videos. She just released a couple of those. But I'll go ahead and leave a link to her channel right here, and then I'll also have a link to her video down below. But the cool thing about this collaboration is that we're doing a top five, but we're actually splitting it up. It's going to be a top five of black owned makeup brands, black owned makeup companies, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys the makeup portion of it, and she's actually bringing you guys the hair portion. So it's almost like you're getting two for the price of one, and I'm just, again, really, really excited. I know that lately you guys have probably been seeing a whole bunch of like black owned makeup tutorials and things like that. And honestly, I really enjoyed this video because it really caused me to just figure out what products I had within my own collection that were from black owned makeup companies. Also because it allowed me to just really do some history and do some fact checking on a lot of these makeup companies and there were some companies that I thought were black owned and it turns out that they're not at all. Um, case in point, Black Radiance. All this time I've been thinking that Black Radiance was a makeup owned a black makeup owned company but it's actually not um, and then also black up cosmetics I thought again that they were but they're no longer black owned so again I just love the fact that it's just really allowing me to find out some new things learning some new things about makeup and I feel like with that you can never go wrong but yeah let's get started now as always these brands are in no particular order it's just basically how I grab the products off of my table and show them to you guys but the first brand that I want to talk about is Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place is no stranger here to my YouTube channel and if you guys are subscribed if you've been rocking with me for a while you have definitely seen her eyeshadow palette splashed all throughout my channel because I absolutely love them. But just some really quick background information about the Juvia's Place brand. The owner her name is Chi Chi Abura. I might be jacking that up and if I am I'm sorry she is Nigerian born but there was this response that I read that she gave to a question that was asked her about the development and the concept of her brand that I absolutely loved and that is what I want to read to you all really quickly um they asked her how did she go about developing her brand and her response was that she took a look at the beauty industry and there was nothing that truly represented black culture she said she felt like the market was here black women are here and we're beautiful and nobody is listening so to her the idea that the nubian queen is a representation of a beautiful black woman and that's what she wanted her company to show yes girl i feel you because i definitely say all the time i don't feel like all the brands cater to women of color and sometimes it can feel like we're just an afterthought which is why we can only get like two or three shades so I just love the fact that that was how she decided to answer that question but again like I said her palettes are no stranger here on my channel I absolutely love both of the Nubian palettes so although as I said I know I've shown these palettes a billion trillion times here on my channel somebody may be new and have never seen them before so this is what the Nubian one palette looks like this one is definitely my favorite I love all the warm neutral shades in here because y'all know I'm a neutral girl in real life you may get a splash of color here and there but it's all about the neutrals for me so this one is definitely just a beautiful staple in my collection but don't get me wrong because I really love the Nubian 2 as well here is what the packaging looks like but here are what the colors look like in the Nubian 2 palette 
So in here you are getting more color, you're getting really bold colors. Um, of course the eyeshadow pans are bigger. I did videos on both of these palettes so at some point within the video I'll leave a link to them so if you guys want to see just the more detailed swatches and all that other good stuff. Um, she's also coming out with another new eyeshadow palette that's releasing I want to say on the 5th of August so be on the lookout for that. She also has makeup brushes that I've heard really great things about and I'm just excited to see this brand grow. I feel like this is just one of those brands that's going to continue to give us really great products but definitely if you have not checked these out what are you waiting for? So the next brand that I want to share with you guys is the company Lena Lashes and I'm really excited to be talking about this company. Um, one because the owner of Lena Lashes her name is Marlena and I actually knew of Marlena by YouTube like I've been watching her videos on YouTube for a really long time and I really love her and I didn't even know that she is the one who owned Lena Lashes until like some months ago I remember I was hearing everybody on Instagram talk about like Lena Lashes Lena Lashes and you guys know I've been Miss Lashes lately so I was like okay well let me just go ahead and check out some of their lashes I got some of the lashes I absolutely love them but to me the star of the the brand is actually their liquid lipsticks which is what I'm going to show you guys but just again some history about Marlena there's this um, this blog that the, or this blog that did a story on her and I'm actually gonna link it down below but I found it so inspirational and so inspiring there was this one point where she talked about only having $26 in her account she was just feeling like maybe she made a really bad decision and then just to see like how amazing her business is now like again you go on Instagram you go on YouTube you hear so many people talking about the Lena Lashes brand so again I'll leave that blog down below but that was just a little background history on her and as I said she does have a YouTube channel so if you guys are not familiar with her definitely check out her channel as well but again these liquid lipsticks um, they're called the more matte than matte liquid lipsticks here's what the packaging looks like and I have quite a few I actually did a lip swatch video on these some time ago so I'll link that you guys can definitely check it out but I just wanted to show you two of my favorites because I love them one you guys know I loves me a good matte lip and I'm a fan of a really great matte liquid lipstick these are some of the most comfortable on the lip I love the packaging but I just love the formula of these liquid lipsticks it's everything if you love a good matte lip definitely check these out so the next brand that I want to bring to you guys is again another one of those brands that if you're familiar with my channel you have heard me rave about their products and that is the Black Opal Cosmetics brand. Now just a little bit of information about Black Opal Cosmetics. It was actually um, founded in 1994 and it was created by these three very creative forces. One of who was a um, businesswoman of Jamaican descent. Um, there's also a chemist and then a dermatologist so the three of them just just got together and they decided to go ahead and form the Black Opal brand. Now one thing about Black Opal, it is not one of those companies where you're going to say they don't have nothing for women of color because all of their products are geared towards women of color. But of course that's not to say that if you aren't a woman of color, if you're not African American, if your melanin is not popping, that you can't pick up their products because I definitely think that you will be able to find something because they carry so many amazing things. They have lipsticks, they have all kind of different foundations primers powders and all that stuff so maybe you'll only be able to find something that you can concert with but trust me you'll be able to find something but definitely one of my favorite products from black opal y'all already know what it is it is the black opal true color pore perfecting foundation oh m gosh when you're talking about a holy grail drugstore foundation this would have to be it because I love this. There was at one point where I was not putting this foundation down. Like I was not rocking any of my higher end foundations. This is the only thing I was wearing because I just love it. I love how it feels on my face. I love the coverage. I love the finish. It gives like this really great like matte feel without being like 
heavy cakey like you can build this up to a full coverage foundation and it's gorgeous and I love the fact that it just blurs out my pores like it's just all around amazing so I definitely would say if you want to start out with something check out this pore perfecting foundation because it is just amazing but again they have a whole plethora of products and I would definitely say check them out you can find them in a lot of your drug stores you can find them in Walmart and just so many different places but yeah they are a brand to be reckoned with so the next brand that I want to show you guys is the brand Colored Rain and these are the Colored Rain liquid lipsticks. Oh my goodness, you talking about a comfortable matte liquid lipstick. I'm wearing two of the shades on my lips today. Like these are just some of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks hands down. They are battling up there with the best. I again I really love the feel of these I love how the finish is and I feel like I could wear these on my lips and kind of forget that I'm wearing a liquid lipstick or forget that I'm wearing a matte lip and that's what I look for in a liquid lipstick it has to be something comfortable I don't need to remember that I'm wearing it because it just feels so heavy on my lips and I love the fact that to me these do not transfer like I could drink I can kiss, I can do whatever, and these babies are not going anywhere. Um, the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now is whatever, which is this really pretty like chocolatey brown shade, and I actually mixed it with the classy and the center of the lip, which is like this really pretty like mauvey nude type of color that I absolutely love. But definitely check out the Colored Rain um, brand. They also now release some single eyeshadows that I'm interested in getting. I love the fact that they are expanding their brand and they're not just going to be known for their liquid lipsticks at this moment because I've heard some really great things about their eyeshadows. But yeah, of course I will have links to all of these companies down below so you can definitely just go check out brows and see if you can find something. But again, if if you love a good matte lip you want to check these out and then the final brand that I want to talk to you guys about is Shea Moisture. Some of my favorites from this line um, one is their mineralized powder now this is actually how it comes I didn't have to depot it or anything like that and what I use this for although this is a pressed powder I use this for setting my under eyes it is what I'm wearing as my under eye setting powder today and I really really like it um, they have so many different shades which you know can sometimes be hard for deeper skin tones because some powders just are too yellow make us look real like banana ish <laughs> and some of them are just like too white you can definitely just play around with their powders and I'm sure you'll find some Thing that suits you but another one of their products that I really love are their blushes I have quite a few of the shade moisture blushes but the one I'm going to show you is definitely my favorite this one is Casablanca copper and again I love the fact that it just comes already pretty much depotted um, this is how I picked it up I don't remember the price but I know that you can usually find shade moisture on sale at Target when I pick my products up, I usually always can catch them on sale. So I would definitely say start there first. But it's just the most gorgeous, like, coppery, browny, bronzy shade. And although, as I said, this is a blush, um, maybe if you are really, really deep skin, you probably can use this as a blush. But I just love using this as my contour or my bronzer powder. And it's just gorgeous. All right, guys. So that is it for my top five black-owned makeup beauty companies and beauty brands um now there are lots more black owned makeup companies out there and what i'll do is i'll actually leave as many as i can find down below in the description box but i also encourage you guys to comment some below in the comment section so that way we can just you know go ahead and know what are the companies that are offering things for women of color and offering things for us with deeper skin tones so that we don't have to mix our shades and we don't have to play around with colors because they weren't made to suit us um, and I know that Jackie Ina also has a tag going around where it's a black owned makeup company tutorial where you're only using black owned makeup brands. I know that Princess, she just did a video and she did an amazing job. If you guys haven't checked out her video, I'll leave that down below. Um, and I'm thinking about doing it as well, although you guys know tutorials aren't really my strong suit. So we'll definitely see because I just think, again, this is really great so that we're getting the knowledge out there, getting the information 
information out there so that you guys can know you know it's time to start uplifting some companies that actually do cater to us and not always the companies that just aren't giving two thoughts about us I'm just saying. So let me know what you guys think of the video. Again, please make sure that you go over and check out Naturally Curly Q's video and also her channel. Please subscribe. Let her know that I sent you. She's amazing. You guys are going to love her and her content. And until next time, bye YouTube.